Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you. Just got out of the gym. Got to get my ass on down the road. Uh, got to get to uh, to work today. I uh, noticed that there was some buzz on the WrestleMania Twitter account. Basically, that they've uh, added contestants into the uh, ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. I guess everybody has been watching Monday Night Raw and SmackDown and seen the uh, musical chairs that they've been pulling on with the uh, titles with everyone that's been involved. Today they named that uh, Wade Barrett would be uh, going up against uh, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper, and R-Truth with two more mystery spots to be uh, named later. My only hope is that uh, the authority is going to stand in on Monday Night Raw and basically make the WrestleMania dream match that was proposed by Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Dolph Ziggler going up against Daniel Bryan for the last spot in the uh, ladder match. The only thing is that, yes, there are two spots that are left, but uh, I don't know. I, you know when, when, the, when the buzz started going about Ziggler versus Bryan, WrestleMania 31, uh, the match to steal the show, I got a little bit fired up inside. I thought that honestly that would be a good match. I've seen some heel things out of Daniel Bryan, and I thought basically if Daniel Bryan found a way to to lose the Roman Reigns at Fastlane and turn that into a, a heel run for him, where he's just the guy where he thinks he's not getting any respect. Wait a minute, we've seen this before. Yes, we have seen this before, but it worked last time, and I thought it would work great. Some of the best times in Daniel Bryan's career, he's worked as a heel in wrestling, and I think that he could add on to it from here. Um, honestly, I think that this is a moment for Ambrose to, to reach up and grab that Intercontinental Championship. I think that they've been trying to give Ambrose something good. Um, and I know that the Intercontinental Championship right now isn't the biggest prize in the WWE, but uh, it is something. It is a WrestleMania moment. Um, you know, Ambrose has been basically given a, a lot of chicken shit uh, since the Shield breakup. Uh, he had a good match against Rollins. Uh, at SummerSlam with that um, Lumberjack match that uh, I think a lot of us thought was going to be horrible. Um, you know, from there, uh, Ambrose went off to make his movie. He had to return early because of uh, the Roman Reigns injury. And, uh, you know, you know, from there he started, you know, fighting with uh, uh, Bray Wyatt in a horrible feud uh, that I thought was going to be good for both of them. But by the end of it, I just was like, no more. No more of this. Our truth is a, a guy. He's lucky to be getting into the WrestleMania. I like our truth. I just uh, don't like our truth buzz around WrestleMania. I think that he's just going to be a dude. I'm noticing that Wade Barrett is more likely looking like he's going to be the biggest guy inside of this. Yeah, with the money in the bank matches, you always saw guys like Kane. You always saw guys like uh, Mark Henry. Uh, big Show, they were in here just to sort of catch guys to make sure guys could take monstrous bumps off the top of the ladder and somebody would catch them on, on their way down. Um, it doesn't look like they're going to get anybody in there because I don't know what you're going to do with Brian and Ziggler if they're not added into this match. But more than likely on Monday Night Raw, we're going to see some sort of a dramatic build to what's going down. Honestly, I think that it's a little bit late uh, for the WrestleMania push, but I was looking because the dates match up between this uh, year's Raws and last year's Raws. Um, I believe Raw was on 3-2, and last year's Raw on the way to WrestleMania was on 3-2 as well. So now 3-9, I think, will be the next edition of Raw. Or it might be 10, I can't remember, but uh, whatever it is, uh, on uh, the, what what I'm so screwed right now. Uh, the same the, the the same date of Monday Night Raw uh, um, last year was when Daniel Bryan did his Occupy Raw speech uh, with all the fans coming into there, which basically was the main setup for WrestleMania 30, which got Daniel Bryan the match against Triple H, which also got the stipulation that if Triple H lost the match to Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan would be added, making the uh, main event a triple threat. Uh, where he would go on and win the championship. So it's honestly still not too late to add something to WrestleMania to really change the effect of what's going down. Will Daniel Bryan get added into the uh, uh, triple threat with Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar? I don't think so, because he's been messing around with his Intercontinental title for the last two weeks. But he did say on SmackDown that he did have a plan for WrestleMania 31, and I doubt that plan at that time was to go after the Intercontinental Championship. So we'll see what happens. Intercontinental title, WrestleMania 31.